and I am the owner of a small business called Seasons Best by Risa. If you're new here, welcome, and if not, welcome back. Okay, guys, so I am starting this week's vlog literally the next day of the last vlog. So the last vlog I posted, um, I sublimated my mug, I did my keychain, and I went outside and took some photos. That was all yesterday, so this is the next day of the new vlog. So today I actually have a t-shirt to make from TikTok shop. And I literally have to make it and ship it out today because it is the last day to ship it. So I got my transfers in. That's that box that I just had on my desk. But I got my DTF transfers in yesterday. So I'm going to have to press the shirt and mail it out today, which is fine. It's really early in the morning right now before... Um, it's 8 o'clock and I start work at 9, so I'm gonna go ahead and press the transfer before I start work. But I just wanted to show you guys what I got. It's all my um, spring transfers, so I've sold all the ones that I had, so I think I maybe have two more left. So I had to restock up on my transfers. Yeah, as you can see, this transfer is a lot thicker than the test one that I bought the other day. It has so many things on there. I'm going to show you this in a second because it's so long. But I also bought, um, I got this from Amazon. This is the Cricut Sublimation Mug because at first I was going to use this to practice on. I don't know if you remember in the last vlog. I told you guys I was going to use this mug to practice on so I wouldn't waste my mugs that I have. But, since my mugs came out so well last time, I don't really need to practice on these. So, I decided that I'm going to actually use this because I want to see if I can do a Mother's Day mug. It's kind of late in the season, but I want to see if I could do a Mother's Day mug. And, I'm going to use these to do that. So... I found a design that I like that I'm going to use, so ah, I just wanted to show you guys. It is the 15 ounce mug, you guys. I actually wanted to get the 15 ounce mug before in the pink with the heart handle, but I couldn't find that. But my next mug that I'm going to be sublimating is going to be the 15 ounce mug. Oh, this is like wrapped up, like it's sealed. Okay, let me just, I almost don't want to break it open, but... So this is what it looks like. It's pretty large and it's the Cricut mug and it's the 15 ounce one. I don't know why for some reason I thought the bottom was round. Huh. I guess not. But yeah, this is what it looks like and I'm going to try to see if I could find like, um, I already found a Mother's Day design so I'm going to see how it comes out. And yeah, it's pretty big and I like it. But yeah, you guys, that's that. So we're going to do this sometime this week. It is... Thursday right now um, I'll most likely be doing that on Saturday so later on in the video and this actually is my shipping boxes that I ordered from Amazon so I'm gonna show you that get this back in here let's see okay let's see Whew. so this one are my shipping boxes I bought the five by five because I just saw that they said somewhere online where it, um, someone said that the 5x5 five five is like the perfect size for mugs. For 11 ounce mugs to ship them. And I am hoping that's true. Because I don't have any way of shipping my mugs when I do get sales. So that's what this is. Let me see. Yeah. So they're white. Um, you know, for the aesthetic, they're white. And let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and open one really quickly and box one up I should say it's so cute though y'all I'll be back this is this is too cute hold on okay besties I'm back so I one thing I didn't show you guys though I didn't show you guys last time like I ended up making my cups because I had to take product photos so I ended up making the actual cups that I launched so at the time that you guys have seen this video I already launched the cups but I ended up making the product photos, taking the product photos, and this is what the cup looks like. And then on the back, it has a Bible verse. 
Uh, so the front says Jesus first, and then the back has a Bible verse, and it says Jesus said. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And it has little cute cherries there. So this is one mug. And I don't know. Do y'all want to see the others? I'll just show you the others really quickly. So I have seven or eight designs. But, oh, this is not it. But I have seven or eight designs. And I only launched three. I'm going to launch them slowly over time. So this is the second one. It says Jesus loves you and it says the same thing on both sides. Jesus loves you and then this is the third one. It says love like Jesus. Hope you guys can see it. It says love like Jesus and it says the same thing on both sides. So those are the three that I launched. Um, at the time of this video, you guys, um, it will be, they are available for purchase if anyone would like to purchase a mug. But, so this is the box, and I just want to make sure, the box is so cute, by the way. Oh, so let's try Jesus Loves You. Of course, it's going to be wrapped up in my um, wrapping paper and bubble wrap, of course. So, it's definitely going to be well protected. Alright. Y'all, it's definitely gonna be like a snug fit. I don't know if y'all can see, but when I like wrap it up and everything and make sure like it's packed tight, as you guys can see, there's not like that much room in there. So when I have it wrapped up, it's literally gonna be the perfect size. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so cute! Ah! Okay, okay, I'm excited. I'm excited. Y'all, you know you're a business owner when you're excited over packaging. This is awesome. Awesome! And I think, was it expensive? I, I think it was pretty cheap. I think I got 25 for 15 I don't know. I will link them down below. But I had to scour the internet to find, like, the size that I needed. And, yeah. So... Yeah, you guys, so today what I have planned, I'm pretty much going to just make my shirt and package it up to go out. I'm not sure that I am going to record that, you guys. I don't know if you guys know, if you guys watched my last video, I got a sewing machine. And if you haven't watched that, it's going to be linked somewhere on the screen. Go ahead and watch that because I purchased a sewing machine and I'm going to be doing scrunchies. And I don't think I told you guys in the last video, but I'm also going to be doing like the little wrist let's the scrunched wristlets so i need to go to joanne's today to find material or fabric as i was telling you guys in the last vlog i need to get like premium satin so i'm gonna try to see if i could get some premium satin that's in the same exact color of the satin that i got at walmart wish me luck or maybe something close i haven't even launched my scrunchies yet so even if the color is not the same It'll be fine. The only problem with it, it, if the color is not the same, the only issue is I'll just have to make like new scrunchies to take product photos. Again, it'll be totally fine. So I'm going to touch base with you guys later on when we go to Joann's. And then, yeah, um, we're just going to see how the week goes. But, yeah, my transfer is actually pretty long. Um, I don't know. I don't remember. Is it 22 by 60 inches, I think? But these, as you guys remember, these are my spring designs. Most of these are sold out. They're finished. So I had to restock. And it's a good thing I did because there's two on here that I need because I have two TikTok shop orders for the You Are So Loved and the... Ah, come on. The God is good, and I was completely out of those, so it's a good thing that this came in. So, as you guys can see, it keeps going, and then again, I had to restock my Chosen. I'm completely out of the uh, Living Proof of a Loving God. Like, that one got, like, a lot of, you know, orders. Like, I'm so surprised because it's so simple. It got a lot of orders. Like, I'm shook. And then I reordered one of my Heat is Risen. I have one already, but I wanted to have more. I don't know. I haven't gotten any orders on this one yet. But I like it. So I feel like we're going to get orders soon. I don't know. So I just got an extra one just in case. 
And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up and then I'm gonna press my order that I have. So stay tuned. and maybe the elastic that I need and maybe some what is it called some bias bonded I don't know you guys but the thing to make the tags for my scrunchies I'm also looking for that so hopefully we can find everything here so I won't have to order anything on Amazon so come on y'all thinking of getting these definitely getting this one but it's between this and this I don't know which one If you guys saw that we went to Joann's, we went to a bookstore, and then we had to stop by Walmart to get like everything that I needed. So I'm gonna show you guys really quickly what I got today. We're not gonna really do much today. I'm just gonna show you what I got. Um, today is Friday. Uh, I think it's April 19th, and tomorrow is Saturday. So tomorrow I'm gonna do a lot more filming. I have you know a cup to make. And I'm also gonna make a bunch of my scrunchies or try to make a bunch of my scrunchies. So tomorrow we'll have more of a full day. But today I'm just gonna show you what I got yesterday. So I went to Joann's and y'all, why did nobody tell me fabric was this expensive? Like the fabric that I want, super duper expensive. I was like, oh my gosh. But I did get two really cute fabrics from them. I wanted to buy so much more. But I just have to see if the fabric and the um, patterns that I like are gonna like sell before I go crazy in Joann's because again, it's not cheap. It's not cheap, not one bit. But I'm gonna show you two that I ordered that I purchased from Joann's. So this first one, this is how this looks. I really love this one, you guys. So I don't know if I told you earlier. I probably did. I probably didn't. Either way, I'm planning on doing like the scrunchy wrist keychains the scrunchy keychains i think they're super cute and i initially purchased this to make these scrunchy keychains the only thing is i really really like it and i was thinking of maybe making it into a scrunchie um as well like a matching set the scrunchie and the keychain but y'all 
this is so expensive like i was like hold up to me so hold up because it's a lot of expense so i'm gonna try it out initially as like a scrunch keychain first to see if i like it or not and if i do like it that would be awesome i'll just go back and get some more so i can make like a set if you guys like it so that's this one i really love this one though i think it's definitely gonna be cute as a keychain super cute so the next material I got is this one. Oh my gosh, you guys. I really, really love this. And I think it'd be really cute as a scrunchie. Just to show you up close. That's the pattern that's on it. And I really love it. Like, oh my gosh, you guys. I can't wait to work with this and make it into a scrunchie. Like, my first, of course, you guys, you know, my first set or my first drop has to be pink. It just has to be now just because my first drop is mostly pink doesn't mean i'm gonna only do pink moving forward i'm gonna see what you guys like what sells but i really like this because it kind of reminds me of my uh, god save me sweatshirt you guys know the hala hala one i think that's how you pronounce it i don't know but the really um hot pink one with the, the light pink so i really like that and then of course you guys know like my regular scrunchie that the one that i started off with first i'm gonna be launching this as well so i had to go to walmart and i had to get um two more yards well i actually got four yards so i got two and it is four yards total so i just thought it was cute because it's like the hot pink with the light pink that's literally how i started with my sweatshirt so starting with my scrunchie just seems fitting so again i really love all of them and i'm gonna sew tomorrow i've never done the keychain but i saw how it was oh no you guys oh i just realized for the keychain i would need a thicker elastic i went into walmart i didn't think um i might not be able to make the keychains tomorrow um I might not be able to make the keychains tomorrow. I'm definitely going to make more scrunchies for sale in this one and in this one. Because these are all my test ones. So, um, I'll definitely be making scrunchies tomorrow. But I might not be able to make the keychain. And that's fine because I still have to order the hardware. I haven't ordered the hardware for the keychains yet. So, it's fine. I could just order the elastic and the hardware at the same time. But my plan was to order to make the keychains just like the scrunched part and then you know glue it together sew it together and everything and then when i order the um, hardware i can just clamp it together that was my plan but it's okay um we'll just have to pivot and try something else tomorrow so that's what i got in joann's and y'all was super expensive i went to joann's to try to find this color fabric like that was a little bit more, better quality but they didn't have like a pink like this or pink that I liked. So I went back to Walmart and I got these. And yeah, you guys. Y'all, I actually didn't know this was. Oh, so it says right here, um, costume satin. But on the back, it says 100% polyester. That's funny. Ah, that's funny. I guess that's why it's costume satin because it's fake satin, I guess. But yeah. Okay, guys. I'm back. But like I said, um, we went to Walmart as well, as you guys saw. And I picked up some wide fabric transfers because I wanted to be able to make um, a tag for my scrunchies. So I'm going to be attempting to make that. I don't know. Maybe should I make it tonight? I might try to make some tonight, especially if I'm going to make scrunchies tomorrow. I might have to make some tonight. Wasn't planning on it, but that might be what I have to do, you guys. Um, I have so much to do, it's crazy. But if I make scrunchies tomorrow, I don't know. I don't know. I y'all, I might not even make scrunchies tomorrow because I don't want to rush this whole process just to get the product out. I want to make sure that it's done right. So tomorrow I might only cut the fabric because I do have to make these. So maybe I'll cut the fabric and make these. I don't know. I do have a lot to do with all of my listings that I have. Even the images that I took for my grab bag photos, I haven't uploaded those. I haven't taken photos for those. I just have so much to do. It's crazy. But I'm trying to push through because I did launch or drop a lot of things. Like my grab bag t-shirts, I haven't posted those yet. I posted my mugs, but yeah, I haven't posted any videos for my grab bag t-shirts. 
again i have to make the tags for these i have to sew them i have to buy the hardware for the keychains like it's just a lot so let me slow down and tomorrow i might just cut out the fabric that i need tomorrow for the scrunchies because i want to make sure that they're done well several days later good morning besties welcome back to a brand new spanking day so today i have a lot to do and i really don't feel like doing anything i really just want to lay down all day we did a lot yesterday but it was not business related well i took some photos yesterday but that was the only thing i did that was related to the business but today i have a whole bunch of stuff to do so i'm gonna make a mug today a um, mama mug So yeah, I'm gonna make a mama mug and I have a ton of scrunchies to try to sew. I'm gonna see if I could do like five scrunchies and maybe three keychains. So I ordered some hardware for my keychains and they should be coming in today. So I wanna scroll I wanna sew the scrunchies. I was thinking of doing maybe five but i might have to do more maybe i have to do six and i'm saying six because i want to do maybe i'll do three and then i have these ones but these are like my test ones i don't want to sell these because i did a whole bunch of tests on these so maybe i'll make um three of this and then three of this and then those will be for sale and I also want to show you guys, so I made some scrunchie tags and I really don't know if I love them or not. So I don't know. My thing is if I start off making my scrunchies with scrunchie th tags and I don't love them, my customers are going to expect the tags to be on there. And if I don't love them and I remove the tags and I have videos that my scrunchies have tags in it, and I sell the scrunchies with no tags. I feel like that's going to be an issue. I feel like, you know, my customers are going to say, why, do, why, why doesn't their scrunchie have tags? So I don't know that I want to do the scrunchie tags yet because if I don't love them, they're okay. They're really good. Like, it's nothing, even if I sell them, it's not like something that is bad quality. It's just not what I thought it would be. I thought, like, okay, let me, let me just show you guys. Let me just show you guys. Okay, besties. I have them in here and... I used like, you know, transfer paper to transfer these onto some bias bindings, but I didn't know that when you removed it, like when you did the transfer, I didn't know that it left like a little plasticky covering. I don't know if you can tell, but it leaves like a plastic covering over the material. And based on like the YouTube videos that I watched from afar, looking at it through the camera, I thought like, the transfer paper like transferred the ink onto the binding i thought that's what that was but no it transfers like on like a piece of film and i don't know that i love that now the good thing about it is that when it's on the scrunchie it'll be good because it won't get dirty like the actual cotton material won't get dirty because this is like a film but it just doesn't look as professional and as crisp as i would want it but all the videos that I've watched, this is what they use. And I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me know what y'all think. I think I'm going to start off not using them. Not using them for now. And my thing is, I can always, you know, brands grow and expand. So I can always add the tags later. But I feel like adding the tags now and then if I don't like them, taking them away that will be like way worse than you know adding them on later if i you know if i decide that i want to use them so yeah that is my dilemma and yeah you guys i don't know let me know what y'all think let me know if y'all think i should still use them i actually i can they're not very expensive on etsy you can get like 40 for like 15 or 17 dollars on etsy somewhere around there so I'm thinking of maybe buying them on Etsy. My thing is, I don't know if I buy them on Etsy, if they're going to be the same way. But what I want is, I want it, I want the print to be in the fabric, not on a film, on top of the fabric, you know? Okay, guys, let's get back to the regularly scheduled program. So 
I printed out some transfer designs on my sublimation paper and what I'm going to put on my mug today is this mama design and it also has a Bible verse here. Um, it's Proverbs on here, Proverbs 31. So that is what we're going to print out today. initially printed out two different designs well two different design sizes it's the same design but this is the 15 ounce mug and I didn't know which size would work for it so I did two different sizes now I want to let you guys know um, as you can see the design says mama and I do want to let you guys know that I did get this design from creative fabrica I did not make this design <laughs> I wish I could, but again, as you guys know, I don't know how to draw. So this design, I got it from Creative Fabrica. And yeah, I've used them in the past. I've used them, I used them when I just started off. And so I went ahead and I got that design from them. And I decided it was super cute and it's super on trend because you guys know how the bow, bow and the coquette style is in right now so i thought that was super cute and of course i did two different sizes again because i didn't know what size would work and i didn't feel like doing the extra work of like measuring it out i'm like it's fine i can just do two different sizes but yeah you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and tape this up i gotta clean it down and tape it up and get it ready but okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna see which design works better for this mug and I'm gonna tape it up and I'm gonna get my heat press all heated up and I will be back with you guys shortly. my cutting machine my, my paper cutter to cut some paper and how could I forget you guys I got a brand new guillotine paper cutter I'm gonna get it and I'll be right back okay besties so this is what it looks like y'all I totally forgot I bought this it came in yesterday and I got it in the color cream and it is like metal and I got it off of Amazon I think I paid $25 for it something around there but I forgot that I had it um, I kind of had to hide it away from my son because I don't know why it doesn't come with like child safety locks or anything like that. But my son will get into any and everything that he can get his hands on. So I literally had to hide it from him. So I forgot that I had it. But you guys, <laughs> I feel so professional, y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. I think I almost cut the no okay there you go y'all i was really close to cutting a part of the bow off oh that would have been very devastating okay you guys this is literally the best invention oh my gosh oh my gosh it's so oh Y'all no more doing what I used to do. This is awesome, amazing. Oh, look at this, do you see how straight this is? Wow. Like my other pink one, the blade in it was getting really dull and y'all, they didn't give me any extra blades with it. And also I had no idea how to change it. So even if I were to buy some extra blades, I don't know how to change it. And I used all of that. I, I feel like I could have gotten, you know, gone on YouTube and found a tutorial on how to change it. But then I would not have had an excuse to buy this brand new paper cutter. Oh. <laughs> I had to go back and get like something to clean this off with because I feel like it still had smudges on there. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear my phone, my Instagram, but I'm getting a tiny bit of traction on this one reel that I post. So it's going off. 
by the way if you guys do not follow me on instagram please go and follow your girl on instagram there's no reason i should have 1800 subscribers on youtube and less than 500 subscribe um, followers on instagram go follow me please <laughs>
on both sides. So those are the two Lemus. It sublimated really well, and then both sides were sublimated really well. Now the bad news. Uh, I think the mama is a little lean. Let me know what y'all think. Um, the bow underneath the mama looks good but i don't know if it's because the mama is curved it looks like a little slanted to me but like then the bow looks straight i don't know y'all y'all tell me what y'all think y'all tell me ah. see if i can show you guys so this is how it looks i think you guys can see so this is how it looks with the mama i don't know maybe on camera it doesn't look clean maybe i'm the problem maybe i'm tripping but i feel like the mama looks lean and then i feel like it's too close to the bible verse i feel like there should be more space but i don't know let me know what y'all think this is how it looks and then this side was perfect it came out straight it didn't um fade anything like that so i am 100 percent happy with this result and when i actually so what i did i know i didn't record it for you guys because i wanted to concentrate but what I did was I cut them up into two pieces and I cut them like really, really close to the design so that way I can make it straight and align it onto the mug. Also, you guys, I did want to mention again that I did get this design from Creative Fabrica and I was able to partner up with Creative Fabrica to get you guys what is called an all access free subscription. Yes, you guys, an all access free subscription to Creative Fabrica. All you guys have to do is click the link down below in my description and I'll try to see if I can leave one in the comments as well. But this is going to give you guys one full month worth of access to Creative Fabrica. And during that full month, that 30 day trial period, you guys will be able to download 10 the free downloads, 10 free downloads completely for free during the 30 day trial and i don't know if you guys know but creative fabrica is a platform that has tons of graphics digital graphics designs fonts whatever you could think of in order to create your design or to put on one of your blanks creative fabrica has it i've used them in the past a ton when i started my business off initially i used them a lot i used a lot of their designs i still have like a ton of their designs on my computer and a ton of their funds so i know that if you guys are just starting off or if you guys have even been in the business for a long time this would be a good chance for you guys to browse and see what kind of designs that you guys can find and just to download and the designs are going to be completely 100 percent commercial rights so that you guys can use them on whatever you want and again it's going to be 10 free designs for a third within a 30-day trial and I also want to let you guys know, once you do hit either the 30 days or if you hit like the 10 downloads, your trial will, your subscription will be renewed. However, if you go on the Creative Fabrica website, you'll see that their regular subscription for all of their designs, all of their fonts, using their AI features, is $29 a month. However, if you sign up with the link that's going to be in my description, once your 30 day trial is up and you go to renew, it's only going to be $9 a month, you guys. Yes, you guys are getting a $20 discount and you guys will be able to use all of their fonts 100% commercial free. So again, don't forget, check the link down below, click it and try out your free trial <laughs> but all right you guys um this is almost the end of this vlog the only thing that i'll be doing for the rest of the day i'm gonna be cutting my fabric and sewing them so i think the next time that you guys will hear from me will be when i'm closing out the vlog so yeah you guys um enjoy this sped up version of me sewing yay <laughs> Your heart, keep it in your pocket for safekeeping. Don't ever let nobody be the reason. You throw it out, you stop caring about it. Don't let your head get in the way. Can't be defined by your mistakes. You know you try and you try really hard. But sometimes you fall. You yeah, sometimes you fall.
So this is what the wristlet would look like. You guys can see. Now my only thing is like the sides of it. Like the side was sticking out a little bit. Let me see if y'all can see. So you see the side wasn't like, it's not as clean as I would like it. So I'm going to see if I could watch any more videos and see if I could get the edges cleaner. But it's super cute. I really like how it turned out. These are the only parts that I'm worried about. And I sewed the scrunchie together. So I know it's not going to like burst open. You know. And then I put like uh, fabric glue there as well. Come here to see. I got this glue from Walmart. Just some regular fabric glue. And then this is the scrunchie that I made. So this is the one with that um, other fabric that I got from Joann's. Super cute, super cute. Um, this is how it looks on the hand. It's going to be like an XL scrunchie. So this is how it looks in comparison to my head. Let me see. Probably if I put it in my hair. Let me see. Let me see. I have my ring on here. Nah. Ah, it's huge. <laughs> I'm dead. It's so big. But obviously, if you have taller hair than I do, or if your hair is longer, it'll be, it'll look a lot better. And I know for sure, like, I wear scrunchies a lot when I have my braids. So, it'll be good even if, like, you don't have super long hair. If you can, if you wear braids, if you get braids. Super cute. Super cute. So, these are the only two I've made right now. I'm going to go ahead and end off the vlog. It is getting late. I am planning on maybe making some more today i wanted to make like nine today but i'm tired so i'm gonna see if later on i decide to finish up and and guys i'm sorry i'm chewing gum i got gum because i just ate dinner but just ignore that but yeah i'm gonna see if later on i want to finish these but i might not be able to because i don't have enough elastic bands i was trying to show you oh here it is <laughs> You guys, I probably have enough to make two more. I'm going to say probably enough to make two or three. So I really don't have enough to make all of them. What I might do though is I might make some more of these so that... <laughs> and my son is right on the couch so you guys might hear him. But what I might do is I might make enough 
so I could take some product photos of these and post them on my Instagram tomorrow. So I might make two more of these tonight. I might not make any more of these until I order more of the rubber bands. But I have the tubes to make them if need be. So I just need to sew like the tubes for these. They're together, but I need to sew them into tubes and then just put the elastic in there. And yeah. So that is going to be the end of this vlog, you guys. I will see y'all in the next vlog. Most likely by the next vlog, I'll have this all finished. But yeah, you guys. All right, besties. Y'all know the drill. Do not forget to like this video. Comment something nice down below. Hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye. Okay, bestie. So I know I just ended the vlog last night, but I did want to show you that I did go back outside in my little office and I finished the scrunchies. So this is what they look like, you guys. Super, super cute. Super cute. By the time that you guys see this video, these will be listed on my website. So feel free to check them out. So yeah, you guys, feel free to check them out. And I also have the wristlets. These will be up as well. So I did go back and I finished making everything. And this was my first time making the wristlets. And then, of course, we have the silk. So if you prefer silk. And if you prefer the cotton. I actually really like this set, you guys. I thought it was fitting to start off with pink. But I'll definitely look into like doing different themes and such. And yeah, um, I think I told you guys in the last vlog that I was trying to find a way to make it like faith based. So what I did was I put like a Bible verse on the back of my tags. It's going to come with the tags and it's going to have a Bible verse on the back. And when I actually do my, if I decide to do my own sewing tags, those will have a Bible verse as well. But I'm still thinking about that. So I don't know if I'm going to add the sewing tags as yet. But yeah, you guys, check these out. They're super cute and they will be available on my website. All right, besties, bye.